Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Before you know it, a month has passed, and for me, it feels like September flew by, and when I think about it, 2021 will soon be over as well. Before we start the plan with me today, I'm very excited to introduce you to our Stationery Pal Original 2022 Calendars Limited Edition, which are now available in our store. First up is our 2022 Astronaut Calendar. In 2021, our astronaut traveled through the universe for an entire year. Now, he's finally back. Back on Earth, he decided to continue to have fun. Why should we take life too seriously? Let's try to continue to find the meaning of life and happy, everyday life. This year, we've added some new features to the calendar. First of all, each card is divided into two parts. The left side is our drawing, while the right side is the calendar. We added a die cut part in the middle of the card, so you can tear off the calendar after use, and leave our drawings as a collection. We also equipped this calendar with a wood stand, so that you can stand the calendar on your table. You can also pin them on your pin board. The second calendar is a new calendar design also from our in-house artist. She started the project One Flower a Day to track her expression of emotion at the beginning of 2021. The more she painted, the more she began to think deeply about the relationship between flowers and life. We selected 12 of her favorite flowers for the 2022 calendar. The tone of these flowers is warm and healing. We hope our calendar will bring you peace of mind. If you find these two calendars are useful for you, you can buy them on stationarypal.com, and I have attached the links in the description. We hope you would enjoy our calendars! Let's hop right into our October Plan With Me setup. What's your impression of autumn? Is it the warm colors? Or the falling maple leaves? For me, autumn is a completely different experience. On a beautiful, bright autumn day, I love exploring the streets, sipping a cup of my favorite coffee, watching the maple leaves slowly fall from the trees, and thinking to myself whether these leaves are falling or flying. Such scenes tend to make me lament how time flies. I chose to use a simple wreath design for the cover. First, you can draw a circle with any round object. I used a compass, which is very easy to draw. Along the lines of the circles, I then drew various items related to autumn. I chose pumpkins, mushrooms, maple leaves, grains, and little bees, mainly because they are quite representative of the feeling of autumn. If you're not particularly sure what you want to draw, you can also do the same as I did with a pencil to first sketch a draft. After all, it is easier to modify. Of course, you can always add something you want to, if you have other ideas about autumn. For this October setup, I chose a more doodly style to express my feelings about autumn. After sketching with a pencil, I used the Sakura Micron pens to outline. Then I used the Crayola Super Tips markers and colored them. I went for colors like brown, orange, dark green, and other colors that I think they match autumn. I added the October calendar in the middle of the wreath so that I can also get an idea of the date when I flip through my journal. Then I add the October below it. tore off a part of the craft paper for decoration. Simply use the glue tape on the back and stick it on. Some washi tape would also be very nice to put here. On the left hand side, I put a scarf here. It gives me a feeling of softness and warmth. It reminds me of knitting a scarf for my boyfriend last October. That was a very fun experience. I remember that it was about to get cold and I wanted to warm him up, not only physically, but also mentally. It was something I made with my own hands, so I thought making a scarf would be a pretty nice idea. I couldn't describe how surprised he was when I gave him the scarf. 
and I can still feel his happiness when I think about it. <laughs> so, I picked the quote, happiness is an inside job for this month. I hope you can also pursue your happiness in this very season. Next is the calendar. My previous calendars on my bullet journal were all made by using a ruler, which to be honest was very nice, but I thought it was a bit rigid and monotonous. This time, I'm gonna outline it directly to give a raw and handmade texture. At the top of the calendar, I chose to use the Stabilo Creamy Peach Highlighter to draw, highlight a row, and brush lettered the days of the week on top of it. I found this way is the simplest way to make it look good. As always, I left a large space on the right side so that I can write each month's to-dos and goals. Similar to the cover, I also taped some craft papers and washi tapes at the corners to make their page look richer. And next is my mood tracker and habit tracker. Honestly, my habit tracker actually gives me a sense of responsibility and obligation. There are many times when I got lost, tracked, being lazy in fact. For example, starting a new habit with so much determination at the beginning, and I couldn't stick with it once it got boring. I've improved a lot since I started using the habit tracker, and it reminds me of something I want to get done. In fact, if I stick with it and have a review by the end of the month, it always gives me the type of satisfaction that could not be easily described. I use circles instead of square blocks for this month and fill in the habits I need to track. For the habit tracker, my advice is that it's okay if you can't do it every day. Take your time and don't let it become a burden. For the mood tracker, I decided to use different shades that give off the autumn vibe. As you can see, there are 31 irregular shades with different oranges and browns, neatly arranged for the plants that I'm going to fill. I also mark the date on each shade in four different plants to be very happy, smile, normal, and sad. For these two pages, it will be my Braden Dump and Study Plan. I tried a Study Tracker and Phone Tracker in my previous setup and I think they were both very helpful, but this month, I'm going to give myself a break and set aside more space for planning and daydreaming. The brain dump section is basically a plan to write down my thoughts, whims, or any random ideas. I'm going to mark down the things that inspire me for social media posts, drawings, brush lettering, basically anything I think is interesting. Below that is my study plan and the saying, by failing to prepare, you're preparing to fail. I'll be making plans here for my study. I'm making a playlist page next to it. This is something I've been sticking with. Part of the reason is that it's interesting to see what music and singers I was growing up with and how my music tastes changed from time to time. For this time, I made it look like a sample player. I also added shadings to help it stand out more and give it a 3D feel. The songs I chose for this month are ones I particularly like in this season. Every time I think about how I feel when I'm wearing my favorite sweater, lounging on the couch while listening to these songs, reading a book, I really love that feeling. Finally, I added some stickers and doodles in the blank space. These include mushrooms, falling leaves, coffee, etc. They all look very cute and simple, you should try them too. The final part is my weekly spread. I think making it a Dutch door would be pretty nice for this month. I've seen these on Instagram a lot and I've never tried it myself. So I'm going to try it for the first time. First, I cut the middle page in half, leaving some space for the content and add borders on both sides. I filled the row with orange and wrote down the days of the week with Pentel again. I also draw a circle in black and wrote down the date in white. I added a mini space for calendar, tasks, and notes. 
finally add some washi tape, doodles, polka dot stickers, and I'll call it done. See, it flips like a wing. Kind of fun, right? Okay, that's my October setup. To be honest, I really like how it turned out. Not only because of the season and the surprises that this month brings, but more so because of the mood and state of mind that autumn brings. The way it makes me feel relaxed and at ease. Enjoy the simplicity. Enjoy the moment. Maybe this is what life should be like. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. We'll see you next time. Bye!